she not been two weeks from shore when down on her a right wheel bore. The captain called all hands and saw he'll take that wheel in tow. <laughs> in this video, I will show you how to add text or titles to your song so you can see lyrics on the screen. There are three parts to this video. The first part is the graphics part, things like the waves, the background. The second part is matching lyrics to your song. So that part would actually take the longest. And finally, adding some final touches to your videos in terms of the elements that I've actually included for you to download. Let's dive straight in. The first thing to add lyrics to your song is to get your song. I'm just gonna drag the song onto the audio track. Now you may want to open up this track larger to see the waveforms. This will help you to add titles to your lyrics. Now there are two ways you can do this. One is to put your uh, lyrics here and break it up. All right, or you can do it up later. Now because for this video, there are animations, I choose to do my lyrics later. So I'm just gonna set up the scene first. I'm gonna drag this image onto the track above to use as my background. Double click on the image. I'm going to drag the corners of this image to make it larger. I'm creating a video which is low resolution in a sense. Intentionally do not want things to be too sharp. Next, I'm going to drag the image for the entire timeline right up to the end. Next, we will add waves and I'm going to add three video tracks because the waves will be in three layers. Now, because the length isn't enough, we change the speed. I'm going to change the speed to 77. Now, you see there are white background here. So, what I'm going to do is go to video track, go to your chroma key, and select the white color. Next, I'm going to add another layer for the wave. Do the same, double click it. I add chroma key, change it to white. So now you see the leaves and you can adjust the position of your wave to be slightly higher or lower. For this wave, I'm going to copy the earlier wave and I'm going to paste it there and create a transition between these two waves to create a slightly different effect. I'm going to add a transition and I'm just going to add a long uh, fade transition. Okay, I'm going to have it long. And I'm going to do the same for the third wave level and making some slight changes in position as well as the length of that transition. Alright, so now you have so many layers of wave done. In the next step, we're going to add the ship and the wheel. Now that the waves are done, the next step is to add the animation. And I think I'm going to add two video tracks. One track will be where the pirate ship will be, and the other one will be for the wheel. So I'm going to add the pirate ship first to this track. Let me change this. And to change it, double click it. I'm going to flip it to the other direction. Go to image, go to transform to flip and make it smaller okay. something like this and I'm going to drag this up because the shape will be for the entire video we'll sort of have a transition to come in going to add a transition I'm just going to add a simple dissolve let's put a dissolve here see what it looks like all right so it looks something like a ghost pirate ship Next, I'm just going to double click and keyframe the animation and make the ship move slowly across the waves. Okay, to do that, click on animation, go to customize, you can add the keyframe somewhere at the beginning here. Keyframe, and you can have the X and Y position to make the ship change. Add the necessary keyframes to make the ship move across the waves until the end of that video. Do the same with the wheel resize and position the wheel and add the necessary keyframes to make the wheel move. I'm going to also rearrange the tracks so that the wheel track will be in front and the layer with the ship will be on top.
on track number seven, I'm going to add the titles and you need to listen to your songs to uh, get the timing right. There. Alright, so somewhere here is there. I'm going to use my default title. There once was a ship that could to see. Okay, somewhere here, put to see. Alright. Now I have these uh, lyrics here on my clipboard here that I've saved. I'm just gonna copy it. I'm going to the default title and add the title over here. And for the title, I'm just going to use Times New Roman and adjust the size of the font. You can use whatever font that you like. Adjust the title position as necessary. I'm just going to center it. And head on over to the advance because I'm going to use a shadow. Adjust the shadow as necessary. You may choose to leave the shadow out depending on the effect that you're after you can also choose a different color for your shadow depending on the type of music and the effect that you are going after i'm also going to use an animation here and the animation for the first one is called evaporate because i want to have this text or the title come in as if something a little bit piratey. I'm also adjusting the delay where the title come in and just by moving this purple bar to the right to have this slow uh, kind of fade in effect. Next, I'm just going to copy the first block of title to the next set. The shadow settings will be the same. Okay, so I'm just going to change this to the Billy of T. Alright, um, if you go to the Advanced tab. However, I'm going to change the animation to a different animation. Yeah, do more design. Okay, click on OK. To see the name of the ship was the Billy of T. Okay. Soon may the women come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the time is done, we'll take our leave and go. Next, uh, if you want to have a similar animation, you can actually copy the entire thing and place it for the second part of the video. Okay, you need to adjust this and of course change the necessary animation for this section here. So here I need to readjust the position over here to the top. So that's why for uh, this project, I prefer to set all the animations first so that I do not need to readjust the text a second time. All right? Now if you don't have animations like this moving along and your animation is just in the background, then you may skip this step. You can do the titles first and come to do this a little bit later. We are getting close to the end. I'm going to add a star somewhere here. I have a star animation. So anyway, I'm just going to drag this down onto my track over here. Yes, I'm going to change the speed and uh, slow it down. Just nice. Just to stick with the theme, I'm going to add a blur effect to this. So just look for blur. Drag this and put it onto this star, double click it, go back to your video, go to effect, go to your blur, I'm going to change the opacity, means I do not want this blur to be too strong. It, what I think is I want to make this star move across the sky, so that give a sense of passage of time, so I'm just going to double click on the clip, 
go to animation go to customize I'm gonna add the keyframe here and right at the end somewhere here I'm gonna add another keyframe I'm just gonna change the position slightly and go up a bit right so isn't some it's not something that that drastic okay so just moving slightly and there is a blur to this star that give it that fine touch okay for this video track I'm going to use it for elements and I'm going to put a shooting star and I have a shooting star uh, element created so I'm just going to drag this down place it there and shorten this so it looks something like this okay now I need to reposition it Okay, let's see how it looks like. Okay, and I'm gonna copy this to another location. Let's say somewhere around here. Paste it there. Flip this so that you will fly in the opposite direction. Okay, and let me bring it down. Readjust the position. You can use as many shooting stars as you like. To make the video uh, interesting, I'm going to add some random line. And uh, this is the random line that I've created and you can also use this animation. Okay, looks like this. I'm just bring it over here. Sort of like a tornado. The last thing to add is the harpoon where uh, the ship shoots something at it. So I have a harpoon animation here. Uh, it's just a very short animation let me double click on it okay it works like this okay, keep the project position it so that it's like this to the beginning and scale further i hope that you learned something from this video do give it a thumbs up to keep me encouraged making such videos like this. Get the links for the download, it is all in the description. When one day soon may the weatherman come to bring a sugar and tea and rum. <laughs>